It was dawn in the forest. For months, the sky had been cruel and dry. The river was nothing but a bed of cracked earth, where once it had sung its cool, rushing song. The trees stood still and thirsty. Dust clung to everything, to the leaves, to the rocks, and even to the baboons, who had lost their sparkle and playfulness. The troop of baboons sat by the dead river, quiet. The young ones no longer chased each other or swung from the trees. The mothers huddled with their little ones, brushing the dust from their thin fur. Even the proud, strong males sat silently, staring at the empty sky. The old baboon leader, grey and wise, would say every morning, Patience, my children, the sky remembers. It will open its heart when the time is right. But it was hard to believe. Day after day, the sun rose hot and merciless. Every morning, the baboons would wake, walk to the riverbed, hoping to see water. Every evening, they would leave disappointed. Until one afternoon, something changed. It began as a whisper, a breeze cool and damp, unlike the dry winds they'd grown used to. The sky, once pale and bright, began to darken. Clouds, thick and grey, gathered above the forest, swirling and rumbling. The baboons looked up. The young ones felt a strange chill in the air. The mothers sniffed the breeze. The old baboon leader stood tall, a smile creeping across his wrinkled face. It is here, he said softly. The sky has remembered us. A loud clap of thunder shook the air. The baboons flinched, and then they felt it. The first drop. It landed on a young baboon's nose. He squealed in delight. Then another drop splashed on a mother's back. A third fell into the dusty ground, turning it dark. And then the rain came. Not just a drizzle, but a great, heavy downpour. The forest roared as millions of raindrops struck the earth. The dry leaves shivered and danced. The ground drank deeply, soaking up the long-awaited gift. And the baboons went wild with joy. They leapt into the riverbed as it began to fill. At first, little puddles formed. Then streams trickled together, growing into a rushing flow. The water gurgled and laughed as it tumbled over stones. The young baboons rolled in the mud, smearing themselves from head to tail, giggling and squeaking. They splashed at each other, sending sprays of cool water into the air. Two brothers chased each other through the shallows, diving and leaping. One mother lifted her baby and let him feel the rain on his little face for the first time. He squealed and reached his tiny hands toward the sky. The older males pounded the wet ground with their fists, then jumped into the water and wrestled, their fur slick and shiny. Even the oldest baboon, the wise grey leader, climbed into the river and let the water swirl around his feet. He closed his eyes, lifted his face to the rain, and smiled. The whole forest seemed alive again. The trees shook off their dust and shimmered with green. The leaves glistened. Flowers opened their petals to drink. Birds called to each other joyfully. Monkeys from far-off trees shouted in celebration too. The baboons played on and on. They splashed and tumbled and drank deeply. Some lay on their backs in the water, staring up at the falling rain as if they couldn't believe it was real. Even as the day turned to evening and the rain kept falling, the troop didn't want to stop. They danced on the muddy banks. They jumped into the river. They chased each other through puddles, their laughter echoing through the forest. At last, as night fell, the baboons huddled together near the Nowful River, their fur wet but their hearts warm. The old leader stood before them and said, My children, today we remember, the sky never forgets us. Even when the wait is long, even when our throats are dry, the sky remembers. And so must we. The baboons all looked up at the sky, still dark and full of stars now peeking through the clouds. The rain softened to a gentle drizzle. And in the quiet of the night, 
The sound of the river flowing once again was the sweetest music they had ever heard.